What is your, what's your take on Joe Rogan? I feel like he, because I know you have, you understand, I think a lot of the, the, the voters that are part of the silent majority, I guess, a lot of people call them, you know, some people call them angry white voters, but I feel like Joe Rogan appeals to a, a huge group of people that feel like that their voices don't matter because they're white, because they're men. Um, and he's become hugely popular over the last few years. I mean, I like Joe Rogan. I'm, I watch his podcast. I watched it a lot more before um, I got embroiled in all this controversy. I like the fact that he's very outspoken about cannabis legalization. Uh, I note that when he has Alex Jones on, he racks up some of the greatest ratings he's ever had. Um, uh, I'm waiting for my invitation, but it hasn't come. <laughs> I also want to go on Barstool Sports just to talk about pizza because I know more about pizza than anyone. In oh America. yeah, not Pizza Gate. Of pizza course, right. You eat. So, what's yes. your favorite? Like, like in New York City, where's your favorite place to go? Uh, I like uh, I like uh, John's of Bleecker Street. Okay. Which is, you know, and I don't know if they they used to just take cash. They didn't take credit cards. That the, the char on their crust is unbelievable. Okay. Um, that's probably still my favorite. Okay. What do you get on your pizza? Sausage. Nothing else. Just sausage. I'm All right. Sausage. I'm a kind of a purist. <laughs> yeah. I well, if I can think of anybody to connect you with to help to get you on the. Uh, the uh pizza tasting show god damn it i can't remember the name but it's like one bite everybody knows the rules i've seen it a hundred times. Sports. I, I, i'm gonna ask tucker carlson to hook me up yeah, yeah he, he did it he was i don't want to talk politics i want to talk pizza i mean <laughs> I, I'm, I'm one of these people who, like drive four hours out of the way in new jersey to find an obscure pizza place that i've read about because it's supposed to be that great i'm i'm very into it i wrote a piece for new york magazine 25 years ago on the best pizza in New York City. Almost all those institutions are now gone, by the way. It's kind of oh, Yeah, it's, it's going to be really scary. You know, I live out in Westchester and I'll, I'll go into the city like once a week just to do a, a show I do on Compound Media, which is uh, Anthony Cumia's network that he yes. started five years ago. Um, yeah, that's what, that's what I really worry about is like a lot of these good small businesses are going to you know, go out of business. I feel like New York is going to lose a lot of its really great pizza because of all this lockdown bullshit. Westchester does have Anthony's coal fire pizza. Anthony's yeah. is a franchise, but it started here in Fort Lauderdale. I actually know Anthony, who is no longer the owner, but who started it. Uh, they're very, it's, it's different. It's a little thicker, uh, but the, they get the char right. Uh, and it's very consistent. So I think it's in White Plains. Oh, okay. Wow. Okay, I know where that is. What do, do you uh, think that Chicago deep dish pizza should even be classified? It should, should be made illegally, illegal, and anybody eats it should get the death penalty. Really? You don't even think it should be called pizza? You think it should be a different category? Bread. This is bread. This is should not be called pizza. This is bread. A friend of mine, uh, Frank Morano, uh, was a producer for Joe Piscopo's radio show. Uh, and I was coming in to tape a segment, but it was lunchtime. I was starving. So I said, Frank, run to the pizza place downstairs and get me a couple slices. I'm dying. I show up for the taping and he has like pieces of deep dish pizza. I said, what is wrong with you? <laughs> if, if, if I tell people back in Staten Island that you did this, they'll never let you back in. So now even today on the air, I always refer to him as Frank Deep Dish Pizza. He now has his own show on WABC in New York. He's, uh, he, he's more knowledgeable about radio than anyone I know, but his knowledge of pizza is ridiculous. Yeah, I mean, deep dish, it's, it's sloppy. You can't hold it in your hand. It's like- I'm, I'm against it. Man Cow, the great Chicago radio talk show host and shock jock, is a good friend of mine. Uh, such a good friend that when he heard that the judge in my case had rejected my request for home confinement, had put me under immediate house arrest and told me to uh, that I had to turn myself in on July 14th. The guy jumps on an airplane in Chicago, flies all the way here to knock on my front door and show up unannounced. It was it was really great, and we hung out for a couple of days. But he defends Chicago pizza. Mm. Maybe it's because he has to. Who knows? Yeah. So being a pizza purist, would you consider like? You know how art like there's artichoke pizza which has like the thick artichoke layers they'll have like crab pizza do you feel like those are inferior pizzas first of all fruit does not belong on pizza 
Okay. <laughs> yeah. Pineapple is a fruit. Fruit does not belong on pizza. Vegetables like mushrooms on pizza, yes, that makes perfect sense. But uh, but uh, a pineapple, that's a pot steak. That's, that, that's awful. It's awful. Uh, or barbecued chicken pizza. Please give me a break. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm a purist. I, I would not go with any of that. It's, it's like a California phenomenon. What do they know about pizza? You know, yeah, I mean, it's very pizza is a New York, New Jersey, Pennsylvania, Connecticut thing. Connecticut style pizza is a very unique style of pizza. There was a great rivalry, for example, in uh, New Haven on Worcester Street where Frank Pepe's and Sally's Pizza were across the street from each other. Uh, very similar in style, but not identical. Uh, and you had to pledge your allegiance to either one or the other. You couldn't like go to both. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, Frank Pepe's was, uh, was uh, they're both very good. I was more fond of Sally's, uh, but these are shrines to great pizza. This is the greatest pizza in the world. It's very thin. Uh, it's, it's, uh, it's got a, a decent amount of char. It's great stuff. How and what are your feelings on crust, you know, crust droop, you know what I mean? Does you do like a pizza to, to sort of like be sort of structured and, you know, not droop in your hand? Is that a deal breaker for you? Uh, yeah, it is. Uh, it's, you know, the, uh, I'm not, first of all, who needs all of those calories? Mm. Uh, the bread, it's bad enough you're eating the pizza. Pizza is my downfall. I can stay on a diet and I try to stay in shape, but who can turn down a great pizza? No one. Uh, <laughs> Uh, I, I'm going to dust off my article from uh, from the New York Magazine because uh, uh, I, I got to get ready for barstool sports. I yeah, vault on there somehow. I feel like you you would do just as well as Tucker. I mean, I feel like you have even more pizza knowledge than him. So I feel like it's Wasps, only better. Wasps know very little about pizzas. 